Hey guys, this is uh, pretty much about my 11th month update of my JBJ 28 gallon LED tank. Again, always something going on in my tank with uh, additions, uh, removals. I'll start off with the uh, the fish uh, situation. Uh, my Flame Angel, uh, you've just seen just passed by earlier, Just uh, he was uh, harassing my yellow assessor uh, who was hanging out in the cave all the time. And, um, you know, he got a little roughed up, so... Last time I had had a flame angel a little while back, uh, since he was uh, chasing the LSS, I got uh, the flame angel out. But this time around, since my wife loves that fish, I kind of switched gears and uh, I actually uh, sold the LSS to another person uh, who will find a better home for him. And he should recover fine. As you can see here, a blueberry, the jawfish here, uh, finally making a home with the you know the rubbles I gave him instead of just making divots in the sand that he was doing on the corner of the tanks here. Uh, also the uh, twin spot goby and my Rainford goby, I believe my uh, culprit over there, uh, carpet anemone might have got to them only because uh, you know those fish were very healthy. I actually seen them yesterday swimming around doing their thing, and uh, but the thing is I've been turning the lights completely off for five hours every night. And um, I might just put my moon lights back on at night completely so they could see because uh, they are the ground guys. They were, or at least the rainfall goby likes to swim low. Uh, he might have touched the an enemy there and got hit up. Uh, same thing with the uh, twin spot goby here. So uh, they might be either right now they're MIA. They might pop their heads out and I could say no, they didn't. But usually they would have been out by now. Uh, the hawkfish again doing very well. It's getting nice and fat. The flame angel and all my other fish are doing well. Um, so uh, no additional fish, but just um, just uh, actually just uh, three less fish in this uh, update. I did get uh, some update in coral, as you can see here. My frog spawn I moved over here is actually uh, battling with the uh, pearl bubble coral, and uh, you could tell the uh, pearl bubble coral was losing that battle. So I moved them over here, uh, trying to keep it distance from vanilla coral. The bird of paradise uh, SPS coral, as you can see, these full extension of polyp. I did get uh, a lot of uh, uh, a handful more of. Uh, SPS Coral, uh, Acro to Monty, uh, from selling the, uh, Yellow Cessor, but also, uh, the blue Acro that I had just never really made it, so I, I, it bleached out, so I got rid of that, and the Orange Digitata, uh, just never recovered from the bleaching, so, uh, to replace it, I got an ORA, it's called a, uh, Lantana, uh, Monty, it's like a yellowish green base, as you can see, it's really nice and has like bluish purplish uh, polyps, which is uh, really awesome, uh, especially in the nightlight. And um, you know, hopefully, that grows very nice there. The other coral I got is I don't know the name of it, but it's a green acro with uh, some nice polyp extensions. And then I got a Billy Poor over here, which is uh, fully extended right now, and I got a Another Halloween hermit crab, which is over here, I like to shell, so I grabbed him. Uh, my red planet is doing very well. So that's the uh, new additions there. There's my uh, clown goby over there. And you can see here my torch coral. See those tentacles sticking out? He was uh, feeling out for something. A very aggressive coral there. And it's been uh, once in a while bottling that zoo over there, but it seems to be alright. Over here. Freckles, um, he uh, hurt his eye. Uh, he actually thought he had Popeye for a little while because uh, it blew up, got cloudy, uh, but it fully kind of recovered. Uh, I knew it didn't have Popeye because the eyes of a jawfish could rotate up and down, and it was ro rotating up and down, so I knew he didn't uh, lose his uh, eyesight on that particular eye. But as you can see here, I think he's going to have that little scar there, but. Um, you know that's probably the best of the the scenario he got because his eye looked pretty bad, um, but he's still uh, doing his thing and uh, he's a tough fish. So he uh, always gets beat up in this rock work. This rock is always it's not too jawfish friendly because they scrape themselves so bad on this rock. But uh, you know what? 
that's uh, it's a long there's no affection. It, they they re heal and uh, just keep on doing their thing. So over here, I move my clam here. I try to put him on a rock, and he keeps on pushing himself off. I don't think he likes the rock, so he likes the sand, and I'm gonna just keep him there. It's a beautiful clam. I try to get him higher up, but he seems to be okay over here. So can't complain. That's the actually the bottom part of that uh, frag. It's actually a Originally from uh, Marshall Islands, that that frag with the uh, antenna uh, Monty there, and this uh, trip there moving around. Here's my lettuce nudie branch. That's new too as well. His name is Booger. He's a nice nudie branch right there. It's pretty cool. He's uh, algae off the rocks, and I got this new A can here. Looks like bright, like an orange color, but it kind of during this phone, um, you know, it kind of looks similar to the saw. Uh, ultra green rainbow here so you see there's my other Halloween As you see a little whole bunch of hermit crabs here. I put some uh, algae tablets here, uh, so they've been uh, feasting over here. And you can see my uh, orchid dolly back is right there. He's munching on it. He had a piece on in there. He's been taking in there and just comes back to it here and there, and then goes back into it. And there's my uh, porcelain crab. He molted recently. And uh, my electric flame scalp actually. To see if I get a good angle on it. He actually moved again and he put himself under this rock as you can see right there and uh, I found my pom-pom crab. He is right there. He split those anemones that he originally had one now uh, that he got big and he split it and he uh, found a good spot there. And that's my blue sponge growing on this pearl bubble coral rock here and uh, he's doing okay and my other sponge uh, blueberry has pretty much covered with sand and that's a result of dead sponge on the rock which uh, was doing very well until that point. There's my brittle starfish hanging out in that cave and then, then there's the fire shrimp red right there. Alright guys, I'll uh, give you an update on how these SPS do. Um, so far, mix, mixed uh, feelings about it because uh, some are not uh, surviving or bleaching. And uh, it's just, uh, I guess it has have to have the right spot for it because that uh, the red planet acro over there uh, has been doing very well in that spot. So I guess it's uh, more spot selection and getting the correct flow and lighting in this tank. But uh, this Mati is doing very well right here. So if you have any questions about any of my experience, whatever, just put a post comment on my uh, channel and uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can uh, regarding, you know, my experience with the LED tank here or any type of nano tank. And I'll uh, stay tuned for my next update.